I'm Nigel Smith. I'm director of Moongazing Hair Bars and I'm speaking to you today from Shrewsbury Folk Festival. This weekend we expect we're going to serve some 25 to 30,000 pints of beer. We're in the main bar, pretty busy later on. You can hear the music playing, a little bit of a workshop there. The buzz is just constant here. Beer to the festival and to lots of people that come to our festival is as important as the music and Nigel's offering is fantastic. We work with private individuals, we work with local authorities, people like the National Trust and the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust, right the way through to the Shrewsbury Folk Festival and other folk festival organisers. Nigel's helped with getting a couple of the breweries on side this year in sponsorship. Could I have a pint of golden ale? And the people come from all over the UK and Canada, America and all over Europe. And when we've got time in the bar, it's really good to have that connection and share. Somebody might come and just have one beer they always try, because that's the beer they know. And we try and extend their palate. We just say, well, do you know about this beer and this brewer? We've got 51 beers and 12 ciders, if not more. There's a steady stream of customers coming in all the time. As soon as one set's finished, you know, we have a flood of people coming in, so it's always busy then. I'm actually a brewer. One of the beers that Nigel's stocking is, is mine and my brother's company called Big Shed Brewery. Last year, this was Nigel's first Shrewsbury Folk Festival. I wanted to make sure that it worked really well for him, so we helped him get all the bars sorted out and products. I managed to get some sponsorship money from the brewery to support Kingston Press, which is our new cider that we've just released. Nigel was very kind to agree to put it on all of his bars here. It's a great day for children, adults, everything. It's a really nice atmosphere. I've been here since Thursday, my first festival ever. Um, it's really great, the people are really lovely, my customers have been awesome. So we've done some cocktail training and since then we've been making cocktails, we've quite a lot of Prosecco. The most popular cocktails have probably been elderflower bellini and ginger mojito. My favourite to make is probably a smoked whiskey sour, a bit different, it's got an egg white in it. Yeah, we've been really busy, especially in the night. People are queuing for the cocktails. Ready? And one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, three. I'm here working on the Cayley Bar today, which is one of the five bars we have at the Shrewsbury Folk Festival. We have the Cayley going on at all times. Uh, we've got dancing throughout the day. We see music, live music, and we can supply everybody, whether it's just a little glass of water to keep you fueled or a little beer to keep you happy. The bar staff have been wonderful, they've been very attentive and there's been plenty of them to give us good service. I've worked at the Warwick Folk Festival and the Tewkesbury Medieval Festival and this one's just on another scale in terms of size and numbers of people, especially in the number of beers we sell here. I can only think that the festival will get better and better every year as it has continued to do so. Beer is very important to the festival and also to the people that come to the festival. We all like a nice pint. If you just do beer on its own or music on its own, there's something missing. You put them together, it's a great partnership. We've had a great year here at Shrewsbury and our other festivals and we're very keen to use our 30 odd years of experience to bring those benefits to you, your festival and your customers in the years to come.